what is up you guys uh gonna be doing this unboxing video um as you can see we're doing magic the gathering for these uh themed booster boxes um i also do have a magic core 2021 set but um we'll open that in a bit as well as these four themed booster packs um as you can see, we have two Zendikar Rising packs, as well as two Ikora uh, Lair, of, Lair of Behemoths uh, packs as well. Each specified for their own uh, color. So you have a blue, a red, a green, and a white. Um, I'm going to first start off with the white Zendikar Rising. Set that aside. As you can see, our first card in front is called Core the Blade Master. Let's open this bad boy up. <clears throat> so as we could always get is the uh, how to play the card game. As we mentioned, Core Blade Master. It's a nice, cool looking card for an uncommon. Oop. Um, next we have Mesa Lynx, Smite the Monstrous, uh, Fairsight Adempt, Kite Sail Cleric, uh, Pressure Point, Prowling Felidar, uh, Cliffhaven Cell Sword, Nahiri's Binding, Relic Val, May adjust this. Seagate Banneret. Another Relic Veil. Vile. Shepherd of Heroes. <clears throat> Seagate Banneret. Kabira Outrider. Emiria, uh, Emiria Captain. Allied Assault. <clears throat> Another Emiria Captain. Another Cliffhaven Cell Sword. Kabira Outrider again. Another Kite Sail Cleric. Another Fart Psych Adempt. Uh, Kabira Outrider. Resolute Strike. Uh, Mackin Mackindy Ox. It's very common. <clears throat> uh, Skyclave Sentinel. Uh, Core Celebrant. Another Pressure Point. Uh, Journey to Oblivion. That looks pretty cool for an uncommon. Uh... Dauntless Unity, Marasa Root Grazer, that's pretty cool. Uh, Dissonant Chant, Smite the Monstrous, for my rare Legion Angel, for my other rare Maul of Skyclaves. When Maul of Skyclaves enters the battlefield, attached to a creature, uh, target creature control, a creature gets plus two, plus two, and has flag and first strike. Equipped two mana costs and it's colorless. <clears throat> so that was from the first pack. Put that there. Set this aside. Next, I'm going to open up the green themed Ikoria Lair of the Behemoths um, booster. <clears throat> so you can see we have uh, our first card fully grown. <clears throat> Take this bad boy out. <clears throat> so we have fully grown. <clears throat> Essence Symbiote. Migratory Greathorn. Glowstone Recluse. Adaptive uh, Shimmer. <clears throat> Survivor's Bond. Honey Mammoth. Auspicious Starks. Ram through sudden spinnerets, uh, humble naturalist, uh, Titan Oth Rex, flycatcher Gurifred, excavation mole, charge of the forever beast, thwart the enemy, uh, survivor's bond, horn bash mentor, another ram through, uh, bristling boar. Humble Naturalist, 
uh, Adventures Impulse, uh, Plummet, another Charge of the Bee, uh, Forever Beast, uh, Migratory Greathorn, uh, Titan Moth Rex again, Fertilid, uh, Exuberant Were uh, Wolf Bear, Moscow Goriak, Proud Wild Bonder, another Bristling Boar, <clears throat> Monstrous Step. Another Survivor's Bond. A uh, Great Sandworm. For common. For my mythic. She Cheville Bane of Monsters. It's a pretty cool looking. Uh, mythic itself. Legendary Creature. <clears throat> Death Touch. At the beginning of your upkeep. If your opponents control no permanents. With bounty counters on them. Put a bounty counter on target creature. Or place worker and opponent controls. Whenever a permanent and your opponent uh, controls with a bounty counter dies, you gain three life and draw a card. That is pretty cool for a black and green deck. Collect all these cards. Next, another Zendikar Rising, blue themed. <clears throat> See in the front, Zulaport Duelist. Take this bad boy out first. I'd like to open it. There we are. Set that all aside. <clears throat> uh, how to play the game again. So we said before, Zulaport Duelist. Uh, Ruin Crab. Into the Roll. Uh, Deliberate. <clears throat> Relic Golem. That's pretty cool. Another Zulaport Duelist. Uh, Low Mage Domination. Skyclave Squid. Living Tempest, another Rune Crab, Glacial Grasp, Umara Mystic, Negate, Utility Knife, another Skyclave Squid, another Rune Crab, <laughs> another Skyclave Squid, what the hell, uh, Deliberate, Bubble Snare, Spare Supplies, Risen Reptide, Sea Floored Stalker, Sure-footed infiltrator, stonework pack beast, cascade seer, merfolk falconer, seagate colossus, skyclave plunder, merfolk wind robber, expedition uh, diviner, another skyclave plunder, wind rider wizard, relic amulet, seafloor stalker, for my rare. Kroheim uh, Chronicler. That's cool. <clears throat> For the last one, it's red themed. Don't fuck this bad boy up. So, as you can see, we have Sanctuary Smasher. It's our front card. Sanctuary Smasher, of course. Uh, Blister Spit Gremlin. Blazing Volley. Cloud Piercer. Pretty cool. Uh, Spell Eater Wolverine. Fail Skill uh, Mentor. Momentum Rumbler. Hiding Reflexes. Uh, Tentative Connection. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Rumbling Rock Slide. Pyroceraptus, another Blazing Volley, another Frill Scroll Mentor, another Blis uh, Blister Split Gremlin. There's a lot of repeats in these. Catharic Reunion, another Proud way, uh, Wild Bonder. Focus. There we are. Porky Parrot. That's interesting. Uh, again, Duplicates. Uh, Fire Prophecy. 
That's pretty cool. Reptilian Reflection. Sonomorous Howl Bonder. Footfall Crater. Shred, uh, shredded Sails. Lava Serpent. Rooting Moloch. Prickly Marmoset. Dranit Stinger. Uh, Porky Parrot. And it looks, again, that looks pretty cool. Another Lava Serpent. More Reptilian Reflection. Another Frenzy Raptor. More Lava Serpent. Really a lot of duplicates. And Mythos of Val uh, Vadric. This is my rare. Mythos of Valdric deals 5 damage divided as you choose a among any number of target creatures and or planeswalker. If uh, colorless and wa water was spent to cast a spell uh, until your next turn, those permanents can't attack or block and their activated abilities can't be activated. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to use definitely use that in my deck. Alright, as far as the theme boosters go... Those were it. Time to uh, potentially unbox this core 21, uh, 2001, uh, 2001, 2021 uh, bundle set. It comes with uh, 10, 15 card booster packs. It comes with a uh, premium full card. It comes with uh, pretty much the land cards, but a couple of them are going to be fold. Of course, you got this cool looking deck box. And this uh, special dice, which I'm kind of excited to see. So, let's tear this bad boy open. Okay, as you can see, we opened the box now. Time to take out all the contents. So, there's the cool looking box. It comes with a smaller box inside, which is also useful. Um, info about the card game itself. Sometimes these also have a pretty cool uh, inside. Let me see if I could take it off. As you can see, it's the image of the front. Pretty cool if you want to play Dungeon and Masters. <clears throat> so here's the box. Time to see all the stuff inside. So, as we said before, 10, 15 card booster boxes, or booster packs, I should say. Um, your fold card. Your land, as well. Giant little 20 side dice. It's pretty cool. Um, Set that aside. Um, more on how to play the game. For those that know how uh, know how to play Magic, you know you always gonna know, know the game. Start with these land cards. That uh, planes card looks pretty cool. Ooh, planes, island, swamp. Mountain, forest, and all the rest are all the same. Basic land cards. When open, sometimes I like opening these because sometimes all the uh, all the land cards always have something premium in it, so they look pretty badass. <clears throat> Time to look at the that foil card. So the foil card is called Pack Leader. It's a creature. It's a promo too. Other dogs you control gain plus one plus one counter. Whenever pack leader attacks, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn to con to dogs you control. This is pretty cool. I own two dogs. That nice full plains card, plains land card. New another island, swamp as well, in the mountain, and the forest looks pretty cool. Uh, these also appear to be holographic. They all do. Ooh, that looks all pretty cool. All the different artwork. Some of these are repeats, but it's all nice and premium shinies. Set those aside. 
Now let's get into the booster packs. As we said before, there's 10 of them. They're the old 15 card each. Let's crack one, let's crack them open. So our first card is Griffin. That looks pretty cool as our creature token. It's hard to play the game as well. Dual land card, Blood Fill Caves. Ooh. A rare foil primal might. That is pretty dope. Gonna set that aside. Uh, are all these rares? No, oh, no, that, that's definitely land. Oh, okay, so those are those are different. <clears throat> Spore web weaver is all oh, my rare. Funny they put them in the front. Uh, meteorite uncommon. Tide skimmer. Bolt hound. Chargers, uh, mag mark mud that looks pretty cool. Uh, grasp of darkness, silent dart, crypt lurker, ranger's guile, alpine watchdog, crash through, keen glide master, staunch shield me is my last card. But damn, I mean, two rares, one's foil that's pretty cool. Set those aside. <clears throat> Second booster pack. More how you play the game. So we got our nether swamp land. Ooh. From my rare fabled passage. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna set that aside. Another rare. Barren Tolar uh, Tolarian Mage. That's pretty cool. A uh, Chrome Replicator. Pestilent Haze. Fierce Empathy. Dub. Sabertooth Mauler. Shock. Got reprinted a lot. Track Down. Blood Glutton. Onaki Ogre. Also reprinted. Uh, Capture Sphere. Rumbunctious uh, Mutt. And Burn Bright. So far, so good. Surprised that they put the uh, the rares in front. Start with this side now. Pack number three. Start off with a demon creature token. That's pretty cool. A dual land card. This missile backwater enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you get a life. You can add water or uh, swamp. That's pretty cool. Our foil common, Ranger's Guile. That's pretty cool. And our mythic, Garuk Unleashed. It's a, our legendary planeswalker. Focus. There we go. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's see how much that card costs. Um, Unleashed Fury. It's a Tavern Swindler. Soul Seer. Turret Ogre, Terry Fee's Proje, Skeleton Archer, Wall of Runes, Titanic Growth, another repeat, uh, another uh, reprint, uh, Gloom Sour, Crash Through, King Glide Master, Staunch Shield Maid is our last card for this booster pack. <clears throat> Fourth pack of the day. Ooh, cat creature token. That's pretty cool. Uh, wind scarred crag. It's a dual land card. That's pretty cool. Ooh, alpine watchdog is our common foil. That's pretty cool. Uh, our other rare is heroic intervention. Pretty cool. Tormite's crypt. Air expand, uh, experimental overlord. Battle rattle shaman. Roaming ghost light. Eternal Scarring, Bossy's Acolyte, Gnarled Sage, Ranger's Guile, got that in full too, which is pretty cool. Alchemist Gift, Goblin Wizardy, Spined Megalodon, Concordia Pegasus. I think I have that card already. <clears throat> Can't give up. I don't know what cards are expensive in this set, but um, I'll definitely look at the prices later. Fifth pack, a knight, 
uh, talking creature. Sometimes they have something in the back. I forgot to look at the other one for that. Blossoming Sands. Our mythic Bane Slayer Angel. Flying, first strike, lifeline, protection from demons from and from dragon. That's pretty cool. Um, Cultivate. Leaf King, Leaf King Avenger. Wildwood Scourge. Rookie Mistake. Hey, funny. Uh, Daybreak Charger. Uh, Goblin uh, Arsonist. That's pretty cool. Uh, Short Sword. Finishing Blow. Truffle Snout. Death Bloom Thalid, Drawsing Tyranodon, Captor's Fear, Rambunctious Meat. It's pretty cool. A lot of white cards in this set. A lot of light, I should say. Um, we're down to last. We're down five packs. Pack number six. Mm. And we got a beast creature token. Our backside. Thornwood Falls. Our rare Temple of Triumph. That's pretty cool. Uh, Falconer Adempt. Uh, Unsubstinate. Enthralling Hold. Frost Breath. Warded Battlements. Forgotten Sentinel. Scorching Dragonfire. Rinrot. Worky Mistake. Ser uh, Sustain. Cetacean Straining, Crypt Lurker, Frantic invent, uh, Inventory, and Fear of Resistance. Pretty cool. Got uh, three packs after this. Pack number seven. Uh, soldiers are token. Basic uh, Force Land Card are rare. Sublime uh, ep Epiphany. Choose one or more uh, counter target spell, counter target activate or triggered ability. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Target player draws a card. That's cool. Uh, oh, that's my rare. My bad. Oops. Supposed to be over there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Furious Rise. Bolt Hound. Walker of Waves. Or Waker Wave, that's bad. Return of Nature. Chadra's Magmuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, Mistral Stinger. Dub. Liliana Steward. Colossal General, another reprint. Uh, Burn Bright. Frantic Inventory. Fear of Resistance. And Goblin Wizardry. Pack number eight. Seven. My bad. Skipping numbers. Goblin, Goblin Wizard. Pretty cool. Mountain. A rare. Radna ha, Heart of Cold. It's a legendary creature. It's pretty cool. Get to that later. Uh, Fungal Rebirth. Uh, Basro Badgery Solitary. Tolarian Kraken. Radiant Fountain. Spell Gorg Weird, uh, Sky Scanner, another another reprint, uh, Cage Zombie, Rousing Reed, Gloom Sour, Garuk's Gorehorn, it's pretty cool, Spined Megalodon, Concordia Pegasus, and Bone Pit Brute. Pack number eight. Down the last two packs. All right, here we go. Griffin, our creature token. That's pretty cool. Ah, cards flying. So we got uh, Swift Water Cliffs, Far Rare, Beigeries Lieutenant. That's pretty cool. Uh, Witch's Cauldron, Sanctum of Tranquil Light, Eliminate, Daybreak Charger. Goblin Arsonist, Short Sword, Finishing Blow, uh, Truffle Snout, Snare Spinner, Death Bloom Thalid, Bone Pit Brute, Wood, uh, Vordlian Arcanist, and Alpine Watch. Like, oh, I'm definitely 
building a dog deck. A lot of dogs in this set. Last pack. Well, wow, that's interesting. Weird. It's our creature token. That's interesting. Bloodfell Caves. Mythic Foil. Massacre Worm. That is pretty cool. Let's leave that in a bit. Nine Lives is our rare. Hmm. Symbolism of Cats. That's pretty cool. Uh, rewind. Another reprint. Uh, Heart Fire Emulator. Sanctum of Faith, uh, Fruitful Harvest. Infernal Scarring. Bazri's Acolyte. Gnarled Sage. Garuk's Gorehorn. Village Rites. Read the Tides. Valorous Steed. Thrill of Possibility. Another Catcher's Fear is our last card. That is it. I open everything I've had so far um I am going to be unboxing other videos um other other cards as well but so far our polls have been pretty well I mean you know some of these uh could be useful some of these don't I don't know time to test them out though but uh yeah <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing some other stuff as well. I have a, a couple packages coming in some somewhere next week, so I'm gonna be unboxing that as well. And uh, see you guys later.